Hey, what's up, YouTube? MKBHD here on SuperSaf TV. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Mobile here with SuperSaf TV. What's up, YouTube? This is Mike, the Detroit Borg on SuperSaf TV. Zach here on SuperSaf TV. Hey, guys, it's Ajustine here on SuperSaf TV. What's up, YouTube? Armando here on SuperSaf TV. Hey, guys, it's David, the Unlocker for SuperSaf TV. Hey, everyone, it's Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now here on SuperSaf TV. What's going on, guys? This is John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo for SuperSaf TV. What's up, YouTube? Saf here on SuperSaf TV. And what is the best camera to use? for YouTube videos. This is something that I get asked on a regular basis and my answer is always the best camera is the camera that you have with you. And that's because there's lots of different factors that go towards making a good video. The content, your style, the story that you're trying to tell, the message that you're trying to get across. But having a good camera can help towards these things as well as improve the quality of your footage. So what I've done for this video is invited some of my awesome YouTube friends to share with us which camera they use most and why. And hopefully this will give you some inspiration as well as some ideas. Now to kick things off with me personally, I use a lot of cameras, but the one that I use most for my YouTube videos is the Panasonic Lumix GH4, which is also being used to record this video. Now there's many reasons for that. It shoots very high quality 4K video footage internally and that's all at a reasonable price for what it offers. It has a full articulating display, which is great for videos like this where I'm filming myself so I can see my framing and things. And it's something that not many 4K video cameras still offer. As well as that, it has lots of pro video features such as focus peaking, so that way you can really get accurate focus as well as zebras, so you don't overexpose your shots, which I still tend to do now and then. Now it's not perfect because it has a very small micro four third sensor it's not great in low light situations and the shallow depth of field that you get from it isn't as good as something that you'll get out of say a DSLR. But overall, it's a great package and it's something that I can definitely recommend for YouTube videos. That's me, let's see what the others have to say. What's up YouTube, Mr. Mobile here with SuperSaf TV and this is the Sony a7S II. This is the camera I shoot 90% of my footage with and it's an acquired taste. The non-reversible viewfinder means I needed to buy an expensive cage and monitor just to see myself when shooting. And the menu is like something off a TRS-80. But with a lot of patience and a couple of nice lenses and frankly more skill than I usually have, you can get some really nice shots out of this sucker. If you want to see some of them, check out The Mr. Mobile on YouTube. And thanks again, Seth, for having me on. Stay mobile, my friends. What's up YouTube, Armando here on SuperSaf TV and the camera of choice that we use for our YouTube production is the Canon 5D Mark IV. Now this is one of the cameras that does shoot 4K video recording but the biggest reason why we picked this camera is the color science. There's just something about Canon colors that I truly love, especially when it comes to skin tones. Now, this is not the cheapest of the bunch. You're looking about $3,500 just for the body, but it does offer a ton of features and functionality that we use on our production. Like for example, sometimes we do a lot of running gun shooting, autofocus works amazing. The lens selection, no adapters needed. Everything just works right out of the box. In fact, if you guys wanna see more video samples, head on over to my YouTube channel and you won't be disappointed. What's up, YouTube, this is Mike, the Detroit Borg on SuperSaf TV. I wanna thank Sam for inviting me to talk about my camera, which I've been using for over three years now. So this is the Sony FDR AX100. So I have a lot of miles on this camera and it has been a rock solid tool for my videos. Now my videos mostly focus on close-ups and sharp quality so you can see the details of products and this camera definitely delivers that for me. It comes with a 29 millimeter wide angle lens and a huge one inch sensor so you get a lot of detail. But this lens isn't ideal for those low light settings or for those dramatic shallow depth of field shots but for my type of videos it definitely gets the job done and it's a really easy camera to use. It's an all-in-one solution. I don't have to swap out lenses. The built-in display can be articulated in any direction so I can see it from whatever angle I need. And it has all the dedicated manual controls I need from exposure to focus right on the camera, although they're definitely not in the most convenient location. So although this is a relatively basic camera by YouTube standards today, it definitely works for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Sony FDR AX100. Hey guys, it's Ajustine here on SuperSaf TV and this is the camera that I use. This is the Sony A7S Mark II and I'm using an 18mm Zeiss lens and it's great because it's super wide 
wide angle and it's also really, really light if you're out and about filming. I will also sometimes pair it with this smaller little microphone because this one that I have on here currently is a little bit big. And I'm also filming this on a Sony a7S Mark II, but I have a little bit different of a setup. I have a 16 to 35 millimeter lens on there. And as you can see here, I've got a little bit different of a microphone and it's got two XLR inputs, which work really well when I'm doing a setup where I have two lobs. And yeah, just uh, don't mind all my amiibo here. I've got a problem. Hey everyone, it's Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now here on Super Saf TV. My favorite YouTube camera would be the Sony a6300 that I'm currently using with a 20 millimeter f2.8. It becomes a very compact and practical camera that's very versatile, amazing 4K performance, amazing 1080p performance, and if you strap a 35 millimeter f1.8 lens, you've got amazing low light performance. And once you factor in how much you invest for this camera, it gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Again, Saf, thanks so much for inviting me. Hey guys, it's David, the Unlocker for Super Saf TV. And the camera I use for YouTube is called the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K. It's a mouthful. And the reason I use this alien looking thing is because it has some of the best dynamic range that I could find for the price. It also has XLR inputs for professional audio equipment, a great focus assist that I love, built-in LUTs, and records directly to ProRes in up to 4.6K, which is great for editing. Also, the fact that it shoots in a little bit over 4K means that I can actually punch into my footage should I need to uh, without losing any quality and still being able to export at 4K. What's going on, guys? This is John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo for Super Saf TV, and the cameras that we use for all of our YouTube videos, uh, the Sony A7S Mark II, Internal 4K has made life so much easier for us. They're not crazy expensive. Uh, the quality is absolutely awesome. If you're looking for a good camera for YouTube, look at Sony. Zach here on Super Saf TV, and the camera I use on my YouTube channel, Jerry Rig Everything, is the GH4. And let me show you why. Everything I film is pretty small, and the GH4 shoots in 4K, which gives me a lot of extra pixels to work with. And when I have the camera connected to my 4K external monitor, I'm able to use a feature called focus peaking, which shows me which part of the small object is in focus at the moment. It puts little dots around the object in focus. It's been a pretty awesome camera for me. Thanks for having me on, Saf. I'll see you guys around. Hey, what's up YouTube? MKBHD here on Super Saf TV. And the camera that I use to shoot all of my videos now is the Red Weapon with the 8K helium sensor in it. Now, as soon as people hear that, they think, oh God, 8K, like why do you need, why on earth would anyone shoot YouTube videos with this 8K camera. But if you hear that the goal of my videos, of my tech videos, is to shoot things and present them in as realistic a way as possible, this is actually a camera that lets me do that as well as I've ever been able to. So the color accuracy is phenomenal, the dynamic range is huge, the bit depth, the, the color, it's, it's all fantastic for making a very realistic and pleasing looking image. So that's why I've been shooting with and continue to shoot with the Red Weapon. So there we have it, the cameras that we use for our YouTube videos. You'll notice that there was a good variety here and a lot of it will come down to things like budget, experience, as well as the level of quality that you want to achieve. But hopefully this video has given you lots of inspiration and ideas. If you wanna check out any of the cameras mentioned in this video, those will all be linked in the description below. I wanna say a big thanks to all of my friends that got involved in this video. They'll all be linked in the description below, so definitely check out their channels and subscribe to them. They all make some great content and I can personally recommend every single one of them. I'm not just saying that because they're my friends. What is your camera of choice? Drop that in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. There's plenty more content and collaborations coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. I'll see you next time.